Uh, it's the morning of vlog day 496. That was good. It was a four minute run, four mile run, four minute run. It was a four mile run and at a better pace. My pace is improving a little bit, but what I really need to do is run longer. I thought about doing that today, but I didn't. I'm, I'm suffering from some motivation issues right now. Don't know what it is. I think it might be the letdown, like the lack of uh, structured commitments right now, combined with just being kind of tired, maybe the weather changing. Not sure what it is, but I'm definitely struggling with a little bit of motivation, a little bit of confidence, weird things like that that are just kind of eating at me, holding me back a little bit. And then I stay up later, because I'm working later, because I'm working on this, and then I sleep in later, which then encourages you to stay up later. So tomorrow I'm gonna set an alarm for a reasonable hour and it's gonna be miserable. And for those of you who are gonna hang out at the meetup tomorrow, or today by the time you see this, forgive me if I'm a little bit uh, sleep deprived. I shouldn't be too bad though, as I'm sure I'll be all right. Blah. I gotta clean this up. And then I need to actually get some work done today. It was really nice to meet you, Stuart, yesterday. It was really great. Uh, it was also good to hang out with Natasha and Cheryl, and I, man, I got so little done. So hopefully today is a little bit more productive. I know life's not about productivity, and that you know you just gotta enjoy yourself and relax sometimes. I'm gonna count the last couple days of pseudo productivity as pseudo rest, and hopefully that adds up to like a full day of rest, and then today, maybe, today, I'll get some stuff done. Because I gotta get some stuff done. I was having some problems with my card, my uh, ATM card went in, turns out it's broken. So I also got a weird email from, well it's an email I don't fully understand, but basically whoever's in charge of my account at my bank is changing from one guy to somebody else that I haven't met yet. They want me to come in, bring a form of identification, and then sign a couple of pieces of paperwork that makes no sense. It's just kind of like one of those things, it's a cultural difference I'm sure, but one of those things where you're like, wait, what does it matter if the person who's working in my bank changes? Do I really need to come in and prove my identity and sign stuff again? weird so here's hoping it's not some sort of a trap anyways back to it that was fun okay one of the things that I'm hoping will help my productivity so I can't afford this yet but I'm gonna go visit we work today they're gonna have openings next year and uh, I'm kind of curious to see what it would be like to look into a co-working space I poked my head in another one not too long ago because I accidentally just kind of stumbled into it. I'm really curious to see what's on offer, but for me, I can only really stay home and be productive one or two days a week. I just don't have any space. Like, it's not separated out, and I already spend enough time sitting at my desk editing every night that to spend the entire day there as well is a little bit maddening. Yeah, I just need to get out more. So I love writing and working in cafes. I love getting out just to kind of clear my head, be around other people, and separate my space a little bit. So that's why this is potentially a tempting idea. You got I just gotta find this place. So we'll give this a try. I don't know if they're gonna let me film inside, but basically the idea is jumping into a co-working space is a little bit expensive, but it would be nice because you have access to it 24-7. They have coffee, internet, everything you need, theoretically and you're not gonna get kicked out at five o'clock when the coffee shop closes kind of thing. Got signs on this and everything, look at that. Oh, give it a try. Pretty terrible, I but aside from that, this is pretty nice. <laughs> well, all in all.
all this seemed really, really cool. Renee was really nice, thank you, it was nice to meet you. She was the lady that was giving me a tour of the place. All the staff that I met were really friendly, really helpful. Speak both French and English very well, which is really neat. The whole area, they have all eight stories of this building, which is crazy like 2,000 people that work here. And it's really generally appealing to me. I've been struggling a little bit with the motivation lately, partially because it's getting frustrating to try and find coffee shops that I know for sure I'll be able to work at. It's a minor thing, but when you spend an hour, hour and a half just trying to find a place to sit, it can be a pain in the butt, especially when you don't know if you're just gonna get kicked out or you only have until like 5, 5.30 before you're done and then you gotta leave. Which, you know, it's good, you don't wanna stay forever, but it'd be nice to have a place to work for longer. It's also really appealing because there are a lot of people here working. Like there are a lot of people, a lot of freelancers, a lot of other people that are doing similar things to what I'm doing. Hanging around, socializing, that's all, that's one of the nice things. They do events as well and they have, not only do they have coffee, which is free, they even have like a local coffee shop that has a barista that just works here all the time. So they've got coffee, but then they also have beer after four o'clock. The taps open at four, so it's free coffee and free beer, which if you do the math, the amount of money that I spent on coffee, I don't spend that much on beer, but if you do the math on that alone, it starts to add up pretty quickly. So I'm not going to do this for sure, but I'm definitely thinking about it. The cost of a hot desk, so the ability to just kind of sit down, work wherever you want within the building that's not a private space, is 450 euros a month, which seems pretty steep up front. That's, that feels pretty expensive. But then when you look at it in terms of like what you're saving on just coffee alone, like I said, because my rent, my rent to work outside of my apartment is coffee, pretty much. That's a lot of the reason why I go to coffee shops is because I just need the space and I enjoy being around other people. But it does seem kind of exorbitant. However, the building is open 24 seven. I do have access to this roof with some amazing, with a nice, really nice view and some amazing potential time lapses. Obviously unlimited internet printing. I could would be able to print. Sounds like a little bit for free, not a ton, but I definitely would be able to get away with some for free. Coffee, beer, and then events. Like socializing and for me one of the biggest things would be able to just be around other freelancers like other young professionals some startups being around some startups being some things like that and being able to meet more people while still getting work done sounds kind of appealing i'm gonna have to actually sit down and do the math on it figure it out and then we'll see if next year if that's something that looks like it would be affordable to be able to get some work done and if it's really something i want to think about it i want to think about it for a good month or two before i actually jump into it but i've been thinking about jumping into a space like this and it is kind of appealing for a number of reasons so anyways those are my thoughts we work it was really nice to meet your staff everybody here was really nice and maybe i will come join longer term they are all also they're also opening a bunch of places here they're opening one in the marae soon which is a little bit too far away uh, but it is cheaper it's just a farther commute for me it's another 20 minutes away from my apartment than this one is but it is significantly cheaper it's like 360 euros a month which is not bad uh they are month to month so you can just kind of stop and go as you need and then they're trying they're going to open another 20 buildings around the city in the next i don't know five years or something she said something that sounded outrageous maybe it wasn't that quickly but it's they want to open 20 have 20 buildings open in total in the not too distant future so i'm definitely tempted one of the things that i've got to just get on top of is figuring out the schedule of because obviously vlogging does not pay the bills but as far as my own projects go my vlog is definitely the central focus of what i'm trying to build and to pour a lot of time and energy into so that's i think a really key component to keep in mind um but the hard part is especially without structure without a place to go work without a set schedule outside of like when i have to teach english for example i have to wait. You got Anyways, this phone call is never going to end, but the point I was trying to make, I think, what was I trying to say? Something? I got to figure out the whole productivity thing. I got to I gotta figure out a schedule for myself. I need to build some structure because at the end of the day, what's paying my bills is the work that I'm doing, whether it's the translation and voice acting or the English teaching or now other random stuff. You know, the whatever projects I'm picking up on the side, those are what pay the bills. And I need to make sure that I'm actually doing those and I need to keep working on those. Even as I pour a lot of effort into the vlog, I still have to eat. So ultimately, at the end of the day, I need this, something like this is tempting because I think it would really help with that. Again, whether or not it's feasible, we'll figure out, but it was good. I'm glad I came and I'm glad that I got the tour and I'm hopefully I'll be back. We'll find out. You got it.